What is up you guys? It's your girl Clean Phoenix and I'm back in a video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my whole nail polish collection. And I'm going to be swatching them on this piece of cardboard. And I had a pen right here. And I'm going to be numbering it so I can know which is which. And if I ever want to do a design, I can just be like, oh, I want number one and three. And I, and then I can just go get that polish. And I won't have to like go like, like, okay. So, yeah. These are all my nail polishes. There's 53 in total, including the regular polishes, the base coats, top coats, and the glitters. Um... So yeah, um, this is what they look like. And I put them in color. So they're colored. They're colored um, red all the way down to black, basically. Um, so yeah, so let's just start. So the first color is this pink one. I'm also going to be telling you guys where I got them from. Most of half percent of these are Dollar Tree brands. Um, so, yeah. This is pink. This is a pink color. I don't know the number because I took it off. Um, I got this from Dollar Tree. It looks more pink um, in person. It looks different on camera. But this is pink. So I'm basically going to swatch this. Okay, and I'm going to number it one. The next one is a glow in the dark um, nail polish. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from Dollar Tree a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. So we're starting off with pink first, and then we're going to do red. So, yeah. That's number two. Alright, number three is this one. This is Wet n Wild Shine. I got this from Dollar Tree, and I actually did a haul. And you've seen this one already. I recently painted my nails this color, but I didn't take a picture. I'm sorry guys, like I'm all out of order, literally. Um, I did a tutorial on these nails that I have right now, but I accidentally deleted the video because I thought it already uploaded, but it didn't, so you guys didn't get the tutorial. And I'm so sorry for that, but in this video, I'm putting all the pictures of nails that, I, that you guys haven't seen yet. So yeah. Okay. Number four is this one. Um, this actually came in a kit that I got from Family Dollar. It came with like three other polishes. And the kit was $5 at Family Dollar. We're still on pink, guys. Alright. Number five is the one that that came in the other kit they're the same kit but with different polishes and that th this one was also in the haul with three other polishes it's pink and it's shimmering all right now we're going to red. So this is red. This is the red one. This is also in a haul. And I actually got this one from Walmart, but they have a dollar section. And, um, but well not a dollar section. In the nail polish section, there's the bottom row that have dollar polishes that are basically Dollar Tree brands. Um, so yeah, this is the red one. It's number 400. I only have two red polishes. The, the other red one is actually my mom's she used to have. Um, these are our polishes. These are just not mine. Alright, the next red polish is by Maxi Professional. I don't know where my mom got this from. This is an old polish. This is what it looks like. 
I don't know where she got it from. We're only swatching the colors. We're not going to swatch, um, like, the base coats and stuff. We might swatch the glitters, though. Okay, next we're moving on to orange peachy type stuff. Um, this is a peachy type color. It's a Dollar Tree brand, um, number 537. Okay. I only use this polish once. Polish one. Some of these I haven't even really used. Next we have a glow in the dark um, polish. This is a Dollar Tree brand, but I got it from Walmart because it was a dollar there, and these are actually new. But it only glows up in the dark with a black light. Um, I actually tried to make a black light. I have um, the tape right here, actually. It was tape with the sharpie and stuff on it. You, some of you guys might know how to do it. And I did it. This is the piece of tape that I used for it. I'm saving it just in case I want to use this polish. But it doesn't really glow that well, which is disappointing. The next orange polish is Sinful Colors um, Professional. Um, I actually got this from Walmart also for like a dollar something, a dollar and some cents. It's called Feel the Vibe, 12, 1,000, 12,014. That's what it looks like. Ugh, I can't open it. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to finish writing the numbers when I'm done. Save time. Next is yellow because I don't have two orange polishes and I have one yellow polish. This is simple colors also, and I got this from Walmart. It is called Yolo Yellow 1598. Alright, now we're moving into green. I have one green polish. This is a Dollar Tree brand. I got this a long time ago. It's gummy. But I use this for more like if I'm doing like grass and stuff. This is 506. I need to get a new one. Okay. Next is more, um, we're going into the tealish blues. This is number 504. This is the color I used for my Frankenstein for Halloween. And this is from Dollar Tree. This is more of a gray green, but it fits better with the teal and stuff. This next polish my dad actually gave me. He went to a furniture market place and he um he got this sample and he gave it to me. It's by Steely Yard. I actually looked up their company and they have a lot of pretty polishes. But this is only my first one by them and I also did a design on this um polish. I'll put the picture here. It's going to be separate from the other pictures, but I'll put it here um, when I used this polish for the design. The picture is going to be right here. Let me write down where I just said at because I will forget. Okay, so that's that polish. I don't know where I got it. I don't know where um, you can buy it at. I don't know how much it costs. He actually got it for free because it was a sample. I don't know any of that. Okay. The next polish is another teal polish. I got this one from Dollar Tree. Um, it's Sinful Colors. Ooh, lip is it up, 
the reason why I also want to swatch these is so I can know that some of them work and some of them don't because some of these are old but I know that they work I feel like they work so yeah the um, we have three more that's in the blue section this one is 508 this is from Dollar Tree wait no this one's from actually Walmart but in the Dollar Tree section dollar section 508 um i also have a nail design on this one um wait yeah but you already seen the nail design but i'll still put it right here let me write this time down i'm doing a lot at the same time So yeah, I'll put that picture of when I did this nail design right here. So yeah. Oh, I did show you. I need to swatch it also. I got so much going on, guys, literally. Oh, I also did a nail design with this one. I did that unicorn one. I already showed you guys this one, but... I'm going to put the picture right here of when I use this polish for the unicorn one. I'm going to put it right here. Six. Next, we're moving. Oh, we're not moving anywhere because we're not done yet. So this one is another tealish kind of color. This came with a kit. Not a kit, but um, well, a kit basically. They came together with some different polishes. There's going to be a couple of these that came with different polishes. Okay. Next is a Dollar Tree brand. This is um, a bluish. It's like a blue pearly type color. Um, it's 424. I also did a nail design on this one. And I'll put the picture right here of when I did... Um, a design with this one it was a galaxy design let me write that down some of these um, pictures you already seen but I'm just gonna match them with the polish so you guys can know so yeah I oh, gotta swatch this one make sure I swatch all of these all right now we're moving on to purple. So this purple um, I um, got from where did I get this from? Walmart. Yeah, I think I got this from Walmart. Um, it was like a dollar and some change. Um, this is the color I use for these nails. But I'm still gonna put the picture right here. So. Mm. And this, I use this color with another color I'm about to show you guys. Oh, this was 370 No Hard Feelings. Okay, the la not the last one, but um, this next purple one, I got this with another polish that cost a um, dollar. I didn't use this polish for my nails yet, but it's a purple, and it's very small, and it doesn't have a number, so that's what it looks like. Next polish is this purple one. This also came with the kit. Um, you can tell by the shape of the bottle. It's purple. And it doesn't have a name or anything. Alright, the last purple one is by Sally Hansen. This one I actually did in a review also. Um, it was my recent one. And I used this color from this design also. It's Sally Hansen. Um, yeah. I'm also going to um, just put this polish with the other polish, these, put t these two polishes together for the design I have on now. 
as in the zigzag one. Okay, so those are all the color polishes. Now we're going to move on to the black and white. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish writing my numbers for my swatches. Okay, so I kind of feel like I don't need to swatch the black and white ones because, I mean, they're just black and all the blacks look alike, all the whites look alike. But I will explain something right quick. The difference, um, this is a, a Dollar Tree white polish and this is a Walmart brand polish, Sally Hansen. And the, the um, Sally Hansen one looks way whiter than the Dollar Tree one. But I don't really need... Um, to swatch these because they're white polish I can tell the difference of which one I want to use based off how bright the other one is compared and these two black polishes are stamping polishes so I don't really need to know the difference between these because I only have two stamping polish and that's a white and a black one um and the other black polishes like these two this is a wet and wild one and this is the one that came with a kit they look exactly the like, and if I ever wanted one a little darker, then I could just do another coat. It's really not that big of a deal, so I don't need to swatch those. And this one, this one is a designing polish. Um, you get the little skinny brush. You get the little skinny brush, and you can do little designs with it. It looks like, like an eyeliner brush. Like, mm -hmm. But I will tell you where I got them from. So this one from Family Dollar. This one's from Family Dollar. Dollar Tree. With a kit. With a kit. This one also came with that black one. And then this one's from Dollar Tree. Yeah, so... I don't really need to swatch the black and white ones, but I will swatch the glitter ones. Or do I need to swatch the glitter ones? Let me think right quick. Okay, I don't need to swatch the glitter ones, but I do want to show you them. So, well, first I want to show you the base coats and top coats. So, after the black and white ones, we get the top coats and base coats. So, this is the Pilar base coat that I said I didn't like. Dollar Tree. Well, Family Dollar, actually. But it was $2.00. This is something I used before I started using base coat and clear nail polish. It's called Mega Growth. I got this from Family Dollar. Now as you can see, I used some of it. Next are my base coats that I actually used, and that's from that's from Walmart, and they are two dollars. I have one that's halfway empty. You can see it better, and I have a brand new one that I really haven't used. Next, I have a top coat, which is by the same brand, Pure Ice, which is $2 at Walmart. Don't use it. Um, I'm not going to use it on my nails. It's a little bit gone, but it, look how watery it is. I didn't do anything to it. It's just watery. And it is turning a little, like, purple from different polishes. But it drags my design, so I don't use that one. This top coat is a Dollar Tree top coat. It's a little foggy, but it's called base coat and top coat, which you can't use them as the same thing, but I used to use this one and my mom. The next top coat is the one I recent. The, this is the one I use now. It's very good. It's thick and it dries quickly. This is Styling Hansen. Walmart. This one is a matte top coat, which is my only matte one, so this is, this I use this one. I only used it once, which was for um, a different design. Um, I can put the picture here. I'll put the picture right here when I did the matte design. Well, not design. It was a matte, like, just a, it was basically just a plain um, color with the matte top coat, um, and I'll put the picture right here. It was my first time doing matte, so 1931. I have a lot to edit, a lot of editing to do. I need to divide these so I can know. All right. Next is my cuticle oil. I don't really use this. 
Well, sometimes. This one, I, this is the one I used with the black to do the map design, which I already showed the picture, but just to let you guys know, this is 1619 when I did the mat. Also, I did do a design with this. Um, I'll put the picture right here. 1221. I'll put the picture right here. I did a gold leaf design with this. So, yeah. All right, the next color is this. This came with the other little one. Um, I have a few of these. I have like four because two came, two came with one, and the other two came with one. Um, I haven't really used this color. Next, I have this color. This is a glitter. It is number five hundred sixty-eight Dollar Tree brand. I used this polish with this polish in the design that I already showed you. Like back in the video once I edit it it'll be back there I can probably put the time of where I use that polish um if it's on here yeah um next polish is this one I have used this polish um, it's NYC. I don't know where my mom got this. This was one of her polishes. Um, but I am going to write it down so you guys can see the picture. Um, yeah, NYC. This is a glitter polish. This is a little glitter polish I never used. This is the last, well, not the last one. This is the third one you'll see. You've seen. There's one more. This pink one, this was a dollar at Family Dollar. You can see it right there. Um, I did do a design with this. This was for my first day of school. I'll put the picture right here. Um, Alright, um, the next glitter is this one. I haven't used this, like, I haven't really used this, but my, I tried it on my mom's nails. Um, it's 646. It's a glitter polish. We're almost done. Now we're moving into more of the holographic ones. We already did, like, blue ones and pinkish ones. Now we're doing holographic and then we have iridescent and we'll be done. So this is a little holographic nail polish I haven't I have used this but it was more for like just playing around haven't really used it this is the last little one next one um is this one this this is another one that came with a kit there was four in each kit so yeah this is a holographic one this next one is the one you've seen in my recent haul I got this from Rainbow. Um, it's a clothing store. I got this from there. It was for like three dollars. NYNY Beauty. The next um is the next one is iridescent. This is a Dollar Tree brand. I haven't did a design with this either. Can't really see the words. This is the last one from a kit. Um, this came in a kit. Um, it's a kind of iridescent one. And last one is a copper glitter. Uh, I don't think I used this one in a design. Um, but yeah, this is copper. And it's a Dollar Tree brand. So. Basically, these are all me and my mom's nail polishes. We keep them in my room because I do my nails and she mostly gets them done. Um, if I missed any nail designs, they will be at the end of the video. And I will try to make sure I'm careful when I'm uploading a video or deleting it for storage. I will make sure to get these all these nail designs in for you guys with the polish so you guys can know 
and you can know how much it costs and where you can get it from if you wanted to do it. I also got my swatches for different polishes. That was just kind of for fun. I don't really know if I'm going to use this. I wanted to do it for fun. Um, yeah, this video is going to be long. I also have to edit it, so it might not be up until a couple hours from now. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I made sure to give you guys the cost of these and try to show you what they look like and everything. Um, took me some time. I was a little unfocused at times. But I will see you guys in the next video. But before I do, I want to show you guys something. Also, I know some of you guys are probably wondering, why didn't you write the number on the bottle so you can match with the swatch and the polish? Well, I didn't have a black Sharpie, so I couldn't do that like they do at the nail salon. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So, I made this. If you follow me on Musical.ly, you've seen it already. I made this. I was pretty bored, so I just decided to make something. Um... Um, this is just for fun. I was going to put the nail polish in here, but I knew that, like, when I tried it, all of them didn't fit. And especially since I combined the ones I had in my room and the ones my mom had in her bathroom. Um, I just keep little stuff in here that's for my nails. Like, glitter and stickers and stuff. I don't put my brushes in here. This is a Vans box. I colored the... Well, not colored. I painted the whole thing. It's purple in the front. Pink at the bottom. I didn't feel like coloring those. Ran out of paint. And then on this side is Skitter Scattle. Not Skitter Scattle, but Scribble Scrabble. Um, on this side is blue. I put some Christmas lights on them. But sadly, they, it don't glow up, so it's just plain. I wrote some words in, like, nail polish bottles on it. And then on the back, it's just taped with Christmas lights. On this side, it has Christmas lights and more pictures. There you go. And... Yeah, so that is basically it. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see. I know some of you guys, a lot of you guys want to see um, slime videos. I might do a slime ASMR video. It's a, it's a My tablet shut down, but I will try to get a slime ASMR video in for you guys.